Motorcyclists have been charged in a really strange case involving a Range Rover in New York City that was just surrounded by a bunch of bikers and you'll see what happens in the video. Let's take a quick look at it. Uh, no one knows how this dispute started yet. However, a Range Rover was driving and then he got surrounded by a bunch of bikers. And then uh, he, since he was basically blocked, he decided to run over some bikers and one of them got very severely injured as a result of it. Uh, we think that the bi biker is probably going to be paralyzed for the rest of his life. Um, so one biker suffered broken legs and apparent spine injuries when the SUV ran over him and may be paralyzed. A second biker suffered a leg injury. Right, so um, what's interesting is now the guy who ran over the bikers has not been arrested and, um, and you're going to see why. So yeah. he, he's got his family in there, he's got his wife and he's got a toddler in the car. A two year old. Right. And then when they catch up to him, because obviously they're enraged about what happened, the bikers are, and then they go to get him, then they start committing violence on him. Yeah, and we so have the, a second take yeah, on Yeah, so that. the driver is trying to get away from them and it's really difficult to do so. So finally he actually exits the highway and once he exits the highway, um, you'll see what happens. And so here he is on the street and the bikers are not letting him go. They're still going after him. One guy takes his helmet and starts uh, busting the window open, the driver's side window. The second biker is trying to bust the second window, uh, the passenger side. That's where the toddler is. So imagine how scared you are to have all these bikers surrounding you. You have your family in the car, you have your wife and the toddler. And I'm not saying what the, the Range Rover driver was doing was right. You shouldn't run someone over. I don't know what started the altercation. Right now the story is very, very sketchy. We need to know exactly how this started and why it happened. Well, in the beginning of, the, of that second video, you see that somebody seems to be trying to open the door of the Range Rover, that's when he hits the gas pedal and runs over the guys, right? And the cops uh, are, see, right there, right? And that's when he takes off and that's when he runs over the bikers, right? And that's when they take off after him and eventually uh, they beat him and, uh, and he had to go to the hospital and get stitches, etc. And one of the guys has been charged um, and they're yeah. looking for two others. So the one uh, biker that has been charged is Christopher Cruz. He was charged with reckless endangerment, reckless driving, endangering the welfare of a child, and menacing. Um, but they are looking for two other bikers, and so we'll see how this story develops. But I'm curious to see how it even started. I mean, that's so violent. And, and at that point, I just, I feel like the biker should have just let it go. You know what I mean? Like, the, if they had let it go at that point after the Range Rover did what it did, um, I think that they would probably have a strong case on their side because he of freaking ran someone over. Of course they're not going to let it go. I know they're not going to let it go, and I know you're angry, but at that point, you, what, you're just making the situation worse for yourself. Now you're the one who's been charged, and you're the one who's going to face some serious consequences. Yeah, I I'm torn about this story, and we just need a lot more investigation to know about the original altercation. Exactly. Because yeah. if the original altercation it was seemed as self-defense for the guy in the Range Rover and he's really worried about his kid, etc., uh, then okay, maybe not pressing charges against him makes sense. But if he in some way began the fight, you can't run over a bunch of people, right. you know, because you got scared. I mean, you're playing with their lives and as in this case, we, one of the guys might be paralyzed. So it's a very complicated situation. On the other hand, of course, if you're surrounded by these guys and it looks like they're trying to do you harm, and if you notice in the at tail end of that video we just showed you, one of the bikers gets in front of him and then slows down, and so he winds up bumping that biker as well. That's because they're trying to get him to stop. That's really dangerous too. And then, and even if you think you saw your guy friend get run over, uh, and you get you're mad about that, you still can't pull the guy out obviously and I know, beat him senseless. I know that's obviously. that's what I'm saying. Uh, you know, at that point, you know, maybe you're not in the wrong as as the biker. I'm talking about the bikers here. Maybe you're not in the wrong at that point after the Range Rover runs over the guy. I know you're really upset and angry, but at that point you have to let it go because if you want revenge immediately and you assault this guy and you beat him down, then all of a sudden you're facing criminal charges and you don't even have a shot. 